Hi everyone, this is Mix from Sneaks and Ball PH and welcome to episode 2 of the LeBron Hunt. Today we have a quick look and review on the Nike LeBron 3 Midnight Navy. To start things off after episode 1 with the LeBron Zoom generation, the next shoe would have been the LeBron 2. However, it is really really hard to find a pair of those. So we just jumped straight into the LeBron 3. The LeBron 3 was used by LeBron James in the 2005-2006 to NBA season. And this was a very special season for LeBron because I think it was around this point when people were really beginning to see that he was an absolute superstar. LeBron would finish the season with averages of 31.4 points per game, 7 rebounds per game, 6.6 assists per game, 1.6 steals, and 1 block. In the 2005-2006 NBA season, he was also named an All-Star starter for the second straight year, where he also became the youngest All-Star MVP in history. LeBron was also named to the All-NBA first team, making him the youngest to do that as well, and he finished second in the MVP voting behind Steve Nash. Aside from his godly stats and individual accolades, he also had a lot of team success this year because he led the Cleveland Cavaliers to 50 wins in the regular season and he led them to the playoffs as the fourth seed. The Cavs took care of business in their first round matchup against Gilbert Arenas and the Washington Wizards where they won in six games. This is where LeBron made his first playoff winning basket with that baseline drive and infamously this is also the game where he topped to Gilbert Arenas at the free throw line and Gilbert Arenas sadly missed both free throws. After taking care of the Washington Wizards, LeBron and the Cavs went on to face the number one seeded Detroit Pistons, who were fresh off back to back NBA Finals trips. LeBron and the Cavs found a way to go up 3 2 on the defending Eastern Conference champions, but eventually lost a very close seven game series. This was definitely a scary sight for the rest of the league because LeBron, being as young as he was, pretty much took the 64 win Detroit Pistons to the brink. So I guess you can see why, in my opinion, the LeBron 3 is very special because this for me was the official start of LeBron James's superstardom. Then with that out of the way, let's get into the unboxing. So for the LeBron 3, you do have this very large orange Nike box with oversized Nike branding here at the top and Nike branding here on the sides as well. You also have some more Nike branding on this end as well as your sizing and colorway information. Then now, time to take a peek at the LeBron 3. So it does have this drawer style box. So just popping that open and pulling it out. So here you have your left shoe and I really just love this colorway so putting this aside for a while and first thing you notice is that it is quite a bit heavy but that is understandable because most lebron shoes are and then just getting this again so here you have it this is the nike zoom lebron 3 Midnight Navy. Then just a few quick tech specs on the LeBron 3. Here on the outsole, you do have two different traction patterns. So here on the blue sections here at the forefoot and the heel, you have this waffle pattern. Then here on the white portion that pretty much covers most of the outsole, you have these lines that curve outward, giving you good multi-directional grip. Upon trying it out here at home, the traction did feel really grippy. And I don't think dust will affect this traction too much because the lines are pretty widely spaced. The rubber grooves are also pretty hard and the whole outsole is super thick. So this should be a traction that will last you a really long time whether you play indoors or outdoors. Then for the cushion, you do have a full-length Phylon midsole along with a full-length zoom unit. The cushion is pretty caged because you have some rubber here at the forefoot and here on the heel. Then you also have some hard plastic here on the midsole on the lateral side as well as the heel portion of the medial side. However, even though it looks super caged on the outside, the cushion is really nice. The full-length zoom still feels like how full-length zoom is supposed to feel which is super bouncy, super comfortable, and super responsive as well. The only downside to the cushion is that it does start out pretty stiff because you have thick rubber here on the outsole, a carbon fiber midfoot plate, and this plastic here on the midsole. It also does feel a little bit heavy, but with that full length zoom, it kind of takes all of those problems away because to this day, full length zoom is still probably my favorite cushion setup of all time. Then on the upper, the materials on the LeBron 3 were surprisingly really premium and really soft. So for the main body of the shoe, you do have this perforated leather, which is white here at the toe, and blue for the rest of the shoe. It feels so much better than I expected and it is really soft and very smooth to the touch as well. You also have some leather straps here on the upper that connect to these plastic lace loops. Then wrapping around the forefoot all the way up to the heel, you have this white patent leather. It is a pretty thick cut but it is also soft as well. And here on the medial side of the forefoot, that patent leather actually has this larger area to protect the shoe during toe drags. 
And then here on the top of the tongue, you have some more patent leather. Then you have some really nice metal aglets. And lastly, you have a super soft neoprene sock liner. And it's definitely one of the softest and most padded that I've ever had. Then for fit and sizing, I did go through to size with the LeBron 3 and it fit me perfectly. The shoe is really nice and padded all throughout. So it really gave me a one-to-one -one fit. Plus the leathers are also really soft. So the more that you use them, it will wrap around your feet more and more. So my quick recommendation would be true to size for anyone with a narrow foot to a normal width foot. But for all of the wide footers, it will be pretty tricky because I think you might get away with going through to size because the materials are pretty soft and pretty padded. However, I also think that if you do have a wide foot, a safe bet would be going up half a size. So that's probably what I would recommend for wide footers. And then for the aesthetic details, here on the outsole, you do have some navy blue and white. And then here in the middle, you have this diamond cutout that shows you that carbon fiber midfoot shank. Here at the heel, you have this gray Nike swoosh. And then you have LeBron written here on the medial side of the forefoot. Then moving on to the midsole, you have some white phylon foam and then you have some blue rubber that comes up here at toe as well as here at the heel. You also have navy blue on the plastic here on the midfoot and then here on the lateral side it does have zoom embossed in the plastic. And then here on the medial side you do have some rubber that comes up here at the midfoot and there you have an embossed number 3 for the LeBron 3 and then here on the medial side of the toe you have a navy blue Nike swoosh. Then moving on to the upper, you do have this super nice white and navy color scheme. So for the white portions, you do have that patent leather that wraps around the forefoot, as well as that rand here on the midfoot, all the way up the heel. And then you also have white here on the perforated leather here in the forefoot. Then from the midfoot to the ankle collar, as well as the tongue, you have that navy blue perforated leather, as well as those navy blue leather strips that connect to those gray plastic lace loops. You also have another gray plastic lace loop here at the bottom of the laces, which also has a carved out L23 logo. Then here on the the tongue you have some navy blue patent leather as well as this clear plastic oval with that lebron lion logo you have lebron written here on this leather strap on the lateral side then you have a navy blue nike swoosh here at the lateral side of the heel then here on the medial side you have this navy diamond with a silver l23 logo inside then here at the heel tab you have this embossed number three in roman numerals then lastly on the insole you have some more l23 branding then for the overall aesthetics i must admit that the lebron 3 does look pretty bulky and heavy and it's not only that it looks heavy but but on foot, it actually is a pretty heavy shoe. But even with that, I still really love how the LeBron 3 looks, especially in this white and midnight navy colorway. I just really like the color blocking of the shoe from the white toe to this white rand that goes all the way up to the heel tab. And this whole midfoot portion on the midfoot, the ankle collar, and the tongue. It also does look a little boot-like, but I like how they executed it because, you know, if you're gonna make it boot-like, might as well make it look super rugged and super soldier gladiator-like with those leather straps. So for that I actually give it a plus for this boot like look because it really plays on that whole rugged and tough look and in my opinion it does it really well. But for the nitpicks I don't really like this small lion lebron logo and I actually don't like this lion logo at all. <laughs> so just a spoiler alert if I ever do see this in future shoes during the lebron hunt then you already know that I'm not gonna like it. Then my other nitpick would be the gray plastic because you know I think they tried to make it silver but it really would have looked nicer if it was more metallic because it really would have made it pop and make it look even more badass. So overall, I just really love the color blocking on the LeBron 3, especially when they do this two-tone look with the toe as well as this rand from the midfoot to the heel. Of course, that is only my opinion, so please sound off in the comment section down below what you think of the Nike LeBron 3. Then for the price, the Nike LeBron 3 actually retroed in 2019, and it retailed for 175 US dollars or 8,545 pesos here in the Philippines. At this price, it does feel like a really good buy because you have a super rugged and super sturdy shoe with some really nice cushion with that full length zoom as well as some nice materials as well. Most people use this as more of a casual shoe nowadays but it is still definitely playable and in my opinion is still a beast on court you know if you can get past the fact that it is a bit heavy but aside from that these are really good. This particular colorway was very well received however there were other colorways such as the Houston Oilers inspired colorway that were on sale and went to the outlets so if you could have gotten them at an even lower price price, then I think that is a really good deal. As far as I know, you can't get these anymore from the Nike site as well as the Nike outlets. However, you can definitely still try your luck at some Nike outlets if they have some other colorways of the LeBron 3. But if you can't find any, you can go on the resale market, which is what I did. So I was able to get these from Mam Marie Chris Lorinaria, and she sold it to me for 7,500 pesos. 
are around 150 US dollars. These were actually dead stock when I bought them and came with the box and the papers and everything. So for that, I think I got a really good deal because this is definitely my favorite OG colorway of the LeBron 3. So there you have it guys, that concludes episode 2 of the LeBron Hunt featuring the Nike Zoom LeBron 3 Midnight Navy. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Then if you have any comments, questions, or any suggestions for any future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as well. Then if you haven't already yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. It would help us out a lot here at Sneaks and Ball PH.